Went to the hospital. Every orderly on the ward is looking for him. Look, I'm a runaway, and hospitals ask too many questions. Molly told me where you live, so I went by your room first. I couldn't make it that far. The one night I didn't have a drink, I really tripped out. I can't believe it. Delirium tremors? DTs? Pink elephants? Well, when the body is deprived of alcohol, it does go through withdrawal, hallucinations. Bad ones. <sighs> That's what I had, all right. I can't believe it. I don't know which is worse, drinking or not drinking. Either way, things just get worse. If you don't like your life, you can change it. I wouldn't know where to start. How about breakfast? Then what? Well, there is someone I'd like you to meet, someone I think that could help. You're sure going through a lot of trouble for me. Jack McGee from the National Register. Oh, you're here to interview me. Uh, your paper's Disco Dude Contest. I entered it. Oh, actually, I wanted to talk about Alice Morrow. Oh. Well, she's my old lady. What do you want her for? I want to interview her about the Hulk. Oh, she was at County Hospital, but she split. Anyway, I don't believe all that Hulk stuff. Well, my uh, paper offering a $10,000 reward for any information leading to the capture of the creature. Hey, wait a minute. I'll find her. She'll talk to you. No problem. You think you're gonna arrange that? Hey, man. She loves me. Hi, I'm Bernard. And I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Bernard. I decided to cool it with my friends. They can handle the booze, but I couldn't. Did it work? Yeah. Once they sobered up, I decided uh, I didn't like them anyway. <laughs> Sarah. My name's Sarah, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sarah. I was just the opposite. When I had to make new friends, I'd start drinking all over again. Different strokes. We each need to find the reasons we drink and deal with them. What's your reason, Al? I like it. That's bull. Oh, a real cop on, out. Alice. What do you know? Come on. I'm just here as a favor to someone. I don't think we believe that. Well, I don't care what you believe. Any of you. If you really feel like that, you can always leave. Where do you get off telling me what I feel? You're only here because they pay you to babysit us. Alice, how old do you think I am? I don't know. Thirty-five? I'm going to be 26 next week. I started drinking when I was 13 years old. I've been sober now for three years. But when I was a teenager, there just wasn't any place to go for help. And I thought that no one had my problems or, or knew what made me drink. That's why I put this group together. If I'd had someone to talk to then, I'd have saved myself 10 years of hell. Make it easy on yourself, Alice. You don't have to fight us.
We've all been there before, Alice. We know it isn't easy. My name's Alice. And I'm an alcoholic. Hi, Alice. Hi, Hi Alice. We can't run your life for you, Alice, but we'll always help you over the rough spots. I'm looking right at them. Alice and that busboy of yours, David. They're right outside the hearing room with one of the DA's expert witnesses. I'll take care of it. Come in. Hey, there's Louie. Oh, I got a lot to tell him. He's not gonna like it. Um, look it, I'll meet you back at your place later, okay? He adopt you or something? This is Jack McGee of the National Register. Look, Louie, we got to talk about tonight. Hey, he wants to interview you about what happened to you last night. You know there's a $10,000 reward for that green thing? $10,000. That makes the dance contest money look like bus fare. Louie, I'm not going back to the disco tonight. I've got to stop drinking. Hey. $500 may not mean anything to you rich kids, but I really need it. Alice, I just want to ask you a couple of questions about what happened to you last night. Look, how long do you think you can live off a dance contest? Or some crazy newspaper contest? Longer than you can stay sober. Alice, this is not a contest. Hey. I told you I can handle it and I'll take care of it. 